In this video, I'll show you how you can turn a simple sentence into an animated video. I'll break down step by step how you can create a talking character using your own voice. And the best part, it's all free. Let's get started. The first step is to generate the script. There are lots of AI tools you can use to help generate the script, like Jasper AI or even Canva's Magic Write. But for this video, we'll be using the trusted ChatGPT. We have all come to know and love ChatGPT. If you're still not sure what it is, check out my video on ChatGPT here. I'll leave a link in the description below. You'll need to create an account with OpenAI to use ChatGPT. Once you have done that, you are ready to type in your prompt. Try and give as much detail as you can as this helps to get the best results. Okay, so I'm going to type a YouTube video script for the title Learn Digital Marketing for Beginners. That's my title. Then I'll tell the chatbot about my target audience, small business owners who are struggling to get traffic and sales. I'll then add points to include in the video, which are SEO, email marketing, copywriting, and market research. Once you are happy with your prompt, click generate, and there you have it, a script for your video. As with anything that comes out of ChatGPT, make sure you fact check all the points to ensure that it's accurate. Now let's convert the script into an animation video. To do that, we will be using steve.ai. The free plan allows you to download three videos a month with a watermark. Sign up to start using it for free. Once you are signed in, you'll be taken to the dashboard with various different options. Click on the text to animation box at the top of the screen. Then you can begin to copy and paste the script from ChatGPT into steve.ai. As you can see, it has broken down the first part of the text I copied in into scenes. Copy the rest of the script in the same way. At the bottom of the screen, it asks you what your video is about. So here I'll type in explain the video and then click next. It will then give a few different design styles. You just need to select one. If you hover your mouse over each one, you can see what it looks like. I will select this one. Now let's have a look at what it's created. Once your video has been created, you can make changes to each scene using the timeline at the bottom. If you want to change the layout of the scene, then you can click here on the top left hand side. This will give you a range of different layouts to choose from. Just select the one you want and it will be applied to the scene in the video. You can also make changes to the characters. Simply click on the character and the left hand side toolbar will change to the character settings. Click on change character and then you will see a wide variety of characters to choose from. I'm going to choose this one. Not only can you change the character, you can also change the actions of the character. Again, make sure the character is selected, then click on character actions on the left hand side of the screen. Simply choose from a wide range of actions to suit your style of video and that action will be applied to that scene. You can also adjust the position of the character by simply clicking and dragging. You can then make changes to each scene by clicking on them and repeating the process. Let's have a look at some of the changes I made. Okay, now we have the script and video sorted, we need to add a voiceover. We can do this within steve.ai. Simply click here, bottom right under your video. This will give you two options. You can add an AI voice or record your own voice. For this video, I'm going to use an AI voice. Click here to select the language, then you can change it to male or female. You now have options to choose a voice or preview it. Once you are happy, select this and a voiceover will be added to your video. Let's have a quick listen. Hello, I'm Matthew from Steve. I'm one of the voices you can use to make your text lifelike. Now this video has music selected already, but if you want to use or change the music for your video, hit the music button next to the voiceover button. Here you'll see lots of music options. If you hover over them, you can hear what they sound like. When you have chosen one, simply select it and it will be added to your video. Welcome to Learn Digital Marketing for Beginners. And there you have it, a text to animation video using AI tools. Now all you need to do is select publish 
once you are happy with it then hit download and then download again and the video will be saved to your computer now i'll show you how to easily and quickly create an animated video using your own voice like this welcome to digital marketing for beginners let me guide you through the essential tactics and strategies that can help your small business grow online to do this we will use adobe express it's super simple let me show you go to adobe express click try for free you will then need to sign in to create a free account once you are signed in click on video then scroll down to quick actions and select animate from audio this will bring up the menu screen from here you can select different characters and different backgrounds as well as adjust the size of the video you want to create i'm going to choose this character and select this background then i'll choose the youtube video size here then you are ready to record your voice or you can upload an audio file already on your computer i prepared a little recording earlier so you just have to click here on browse to upload your file you are limited to two minutes but there is no limit on how many videos you can create so if you wanted to you could record each part of your script and then edit them together then simply download and there you have it an animated character that sounds just like you welcome to digital marketing for beginners let me guide you through the essential tactics and strategies that can help your small business grow online whether you're struggling with getting traffic or increasing sales this video is tailored just for you let's dive right in pro tip if you want to be able to use this character in a video you have already made then here's what you need to do select backgrounds then select custom color change the background to green then when you download the video you have a green screen background ready to be added to any video you like to do this just open up your video editor of choice import the video with the green screen then use the remove color or remove background feature within your video editor this is normally called a chroma key or on my one i use camtasia it's just called remove a color and then you select the color and it will be removed from the background in my case i'll select the color picker and then choose the background as the color and then it will be removed now as you can see there's a slight touch of green around the edges so i can adjust the tolerance and this will remove it once that's done you can see the background is removed now what i can do is select on that part of the video and resize it and place it wherever you want in the video so if you're making tutorials you can place it in the bottom left hand side of the video while they're speaking this is an example here i'm just moving it around the timeline so you can see different locations that you can put it in 